Hello folks, this is Ashad once again. In my hand is the Honor Magic, a phone that uh, Huawei launched in December 2016. Of course, the P10 and the P10 Plus has been the talk of the town for MWC this year, but the Magic was launched in December 2016. And quite in all honesty, this phone is quite a looker. I mean, it's got this really nice curved uh, front which seamlessly blends into the curved rear as well. Uh, I mean, the display is also very slightly curved, not, not entirely. Uh, there are bezels, of course, on both ends. Uh, what I like about the Honor Magic is the fact that uh, it's extremely, extremely nimble, extremely, extremely light. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful looking device. In fact, I would go as far as to say that this is the most beautiful looking phone I've held in my hand at MWC this year. Also, that display is absolutely gorgeous. It's this, uh, it's this 5.09 inch display. I mean, compared to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm guessing it's the uh, dimensions that it takes with the edges into consideration, which has a res resolution of, you know, uh, 1440 by 2560, which is, uh, I mean, QHD. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got deep black levels and it's an AMOLED capacitive touchscreen, uh, which makes it a really, really nice phone to hold in the hand as well. There's only this, uh, you know, small, it's the, the curves are separated by only this really small, uh, lines uh, of uh, you know the edge that has some metal this one is the golden variant there's also a white one uh, but this is a phone that looks really really pretty uh, let's talk about the other things that are there in the phone it runs android 6.0 marshmallow it doesn't have an app drawer of course it's running without an app drawer also apart from that it's got uh, kirin 950 inside it uh, compared to the p10 and the p10 plus which has an upgraded 960 uh, the 950 also has a mali t880 MP4 uh, GPU as well. Internally, it comes with 64 GB of storage with no way to expand the storage and uh, 4 GB of RAM as well. At the rear, you get a, a dual uh, 12 megapixel f by 2.2 shooter. Uh, you know, it's it's not like a branded, but I'm guessing that you know you'll still get some really decent shots uh, through this camera as well. Uh, I haven't tested them out. I'll just jump into the camera and show it to you guys. But I need to tell you guys that this is running the Chinese variant of the phone so that the Google Play services and none of the, those are activated. Uh, what Huawei claims is that, uh, you know, the sensors are constantly learning. It's an intelligent smartphone. However, uh, you know, until we use it uh, for a good amount of time, we cannot test that for you. I'll let you know that yet. Uh, uh, apart from that, it's also it can also do full HD video. It cannot do 4K video using the rear camera, which is a bit of a downer. Uh, and it has an 8 megapixel shooter on the front. Uh, let's just jump into the camera and show you guys as to how that looks. Uh, I'll, I'll take the selfie. Uh, okay, that actually does look pretty, pretty impressive uh, for a selfie camera. And uh, here's the rear camera. Let's take a look at the camera samples, uh, you know, and to figure out how that looks. It looks very interesting, of course. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, this will be a great phone for Huawei. Uh, also, this is uh, Huawei's answer. Uh, the Honor Magic is Huawei's answer to Xiaomi's uh, Mi Mix. Internally, the phone has a 2900 mAh battery which should uh, easily last you through a day, I'm guessing. Apart from that, uh, you know, what is very, very uh, beautiful about the phone is the fact that uh, this phone has this really nice curved design. It sort of uh, reminds me of the first time when Samsung launched the uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. It had, uh, it created an awe. Uh, the same kind of awe is uh, repeated in the Honor Magic as well. What do you guys think about the phone? Do let us know in the comment section below. Uh, also keep watching our uh, channel for more MWC updates. Until next time, this is Ashwat signing off. Ciao.